Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle. In today's video, talking about the one and only ICP, Definity, everything from the ecosystem news to the charts. And there is some great stuff going down today. And I'm talking about CK ETH, folks. CK ETH is live, and we'll be talking about what exactly it is in just a second. But if you're not familiar with CK ETH, it stands for Chain Key Ethereum. And this basically allows internet computer to really control Ethereum on its native chain. And the interesting thing about chain key technology is basically it, it basically eliminates like a, a trusted third party that is bridging tokens and things like that. Because we hear about all these trusted third parties always getting hacked and millions and millions and hundreds of millions and billions of dollars get stolen. So with this chain key technology, uh, basically, it trusts smart contracts instead of other people. I am super bullish on it. Right now, there are 24 total supply of chain key ETH under internet computer control. We're seeing that there's also been great adoption of CKBTC with almost 1,500 CKBTC uh, in volume which is basically the equivalent of 1500 Bitcoin. There's been over 127, almost 128,000 uh, CKBTC transactions to boot. So like this is catching on, uh, which is great to see. Now, ICP is up massively on the month, 27%, up almost 17% on the year. We're up 1% on the day. What exactly is happening here, folks? Well, I threw up some gone fans to help us understand. And basically, gone fans will give us a glimpse at where the next resistance points for ICP might be. But I threw them up at the conception of ICP. And really, you can see how well price action has played within these gone fan levels. Price action is respected these levels quite nicely. And I'm not expecting that to change, but I do think that we might see a little bit of resistance right around the $6.66 level, maybe up to like the $7-ish level. There's going to be this wall here that price action is going to have to get through. My hopes is that we get a rejection at this level. And this might sound kind of weird, but if we come up and get some sort of rejection, this will give us more firepower to complete what's called some sort of Elliott Wave Theory move to the upside. So I'm hoping for everyone's sake that we see something like this occur. It may or may not. We could just pump straight upwards too. But I do think that right now at this point, $6.30 is on the table, if not $7. Those are my price points uh, for you know going into the end of December. Uh, and I'm hoping that maybe we can even get a crazy rally. And then this next price point of about $9.80 to $10 is going to be our next uh, truly crazy resistance point. Uh, but if price fails here, uh, be prepared for a little bit of a bloodbath. One thing that I want to stress with ICP folks is that this thing has never been above the Ichimoku cloud on the weekly. So maybe we'll see some move like this to the upside. And you can see once this thing had its inception, FTX, we had Sam Bankman, we had Alameda, start crushing the price via perpetual futures and they launched perpetual futures trading on icp four days before it launched they propped the price up 500x and once it launched they basically shorted the thing to death and killed everyone's investments it was an, a terrible thing but i am hoping right now that we see icp come up and get above this five dollar 75 cent level this will get us above the Ichimoku cloud on the weekly or the very first time in its existence. And that is something to be very, very bullish about. Uh, there could also be some sort of inverse head and shoulders that is forming. Something like this could be in order. We just don't know until we know. But right now, 
uh, price action is trading well above the 50 moving average on the weekly. Uh, so this has never traded this high above uh, the weekly at this point uh, in its existence right now. I'm hoping the next candle opens and closes above the 50. It'll be the first time it's ever happened. I don't know, folks. I'm going to be super bullish about that. I'm going to do a backflip uh, on the set. Um, so right now, you know, it, it, this is what it is. I could maybe argue the fact that there could be a little bit of a baby retracement uh, coming up here. There is this Elliott Wave theory to me uh, that exists. So uh, whether or not we'll get that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to just see uh, what the markets do. But we would be looking for some sort of flag pattern or pennant pattern like this before we make our next move up to that $9.82 level. And by default, uh, I'm going to clear some of this. By default, folks, uh, the, if this was true Elliott Wave Theory fashion uh, and we were seeing a large uh, impulse wave within an impulse wave, we would see something like this. And, you know, per the, per the rule, uh, span two to three can never be the shortest. So by default, that would mean that uh, this span would have to be at least at least up to the six dollar and seventy cent level um, to advance further. We'd need to get higher than that. Uh, so right now, folks, there's some interesting stuff going on with ICP and the markets. We're seeing Bitcoin absolutely pump. Let's just check that out right now. And folks, you guys have got to check me out on Twitter. And this is why. Uh, simply because, i got to move this, get my profile, see how prepared I am. Uh, but I was telling everybody, I said, I told you the exact time and day that Bitcoin was going to get volatile. And I said, watch out for Bitcoin on 12.3 within four hours of 9 a.m. Well, here's 12.3, 10 a.m. What happened? Well, this thing ripped off. That's Fibonacci time sequence, folks. So with that said, uh, hit me up. I appreciate all the followers I can get at Real Six Fig on Twitter because I'm always dropping this type of alpha. Bitcoin's over 44,000 right now, folks. Insane, absolutely insane. So I think that Bitcoin is going to pull back a little bit and maybe touch base with this 50 moving average here. So we might see something like this happen and uh, it's, it's gonna maybe stabilize here at the 44,000 and do something like this. Uh, my opinion, not financial or trading advice. Love you all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.